Zatari refugee camp, northern Jordan. This bleak desert camp is now home to over 90,000 Syrians. More than half are children. 13-year-old Bashir is one of them. His family fled their home seven months ago. But since arriving, his thoughts have never left his hometown of Dera. Bashir's family were early arrivals at the camp and are one of the lucky few who have since moved from a fragile tent to a prefabricated unit. This single room is what the family must now call home, both in the current chill of winter and in the searing heat of the summer to come. Bashir attends the camp's UNICEF-supported school. Through classes like these, the school tries to bring some degree of normality to thousands of children as they deal with the horrors they have been through. When he's not studying, Bashir spends time at one of the camp's youth centers. These help children and young people to re-engage with their childhood and relearn social skills. Meanwhile, his father Nabil tries to make ends meet by selling falafel sandwiches at a stall on the camp's main road. With no other income, the cash he raises helps to support the family. With up to 3,000 refugees flooding into Jordan every day, UNICEF and its partners are faced with a huge task to provide clean and safe water, education and health and child protection to the ever-growing numbers. Yet less than 20% of the required funds have been raised. With such a massive shortfall, the task of preventing Bashir and the children of Syria becoming part of a lost generation is even more of a challenge. <laughs>